To, to have a compelling aircraft, you only really need about 400 watt hours per kilogram, provided your, the, your, the percentage of cell on the, craft, on, the, on the aircraft is high. It doesn't need to be anywhere near as high as the, it is on a rocket. Um, but if it's sort of at the 70% level um, at 400 watt hours per kilogram, um, you can do very decent range. Um, and if you sort of move it up to the sort of mid, mid to high 70s, you can go transcontinental, but with, you know, not, not intercontinental, but sort of, sort of west coast to east coast. Um, so you need, need an efficient aircraft, uh, but, but that's, that's approximately, by my calculations, the, the numbers you need, 400 watt hours per kilogram, mid to high 70s cell mass fraction, um, which I think is an achievable number. Because um, like, aircraft have all these, like, Unnecessary things like tails and like rudders and elevators, <laughs> like not needed. <laughs> <laughs> that, just just that, just gimbal, you know. It, it, anyway, you, g gimbal gimbal the electric fan. Like, like for some weird reason, like gimbling motors is normal in rockets and not in aircraft. Like, well, why not? <laughs> okay, well, it definitely plans to get into this business because we love to to see the. How, how things develop in that particular area. Certainly a very interesting domain. Do you have a specific plans? Um, I mean, I've been sort of toying with the design for an electric supersonic vertical takeoff and landing electric aircraft for a while. Um, I'd, I'd love to do it, um, but I think my mind would explode. <laughs>